What's up guys, it's Rob here and today we need to talk about rumble stock ticker symbol RUM because there are some good catalysts that this thing has going for it, some new developments have occurred and we're going to take a look at those. We're going to talk about the stock price where I think it could be going in the future, why I think it will likely be improving and we'll break down all of that in this video. So first off, you can see that we've remained relatively steady today, which overall uh, it's not super steady. We're actually up 6% technically on the day, but where we were yesterday, we moved down a little bit. So we've mostly just recovered some of the losses from yesterday. So not too much movement with the stock price. We've basically just been hovering around $12. But there are some good catalysts that I think are likely to move us up over the long term. A lot of people like to think of stocks in the short term in terms of what they're going to do over the course of the next week or month. I'm thinking years out when I think about a lot of these stocks. So I'm talking about their potential growth. I'm talking about years out because that's much easier, in my opinion, to theorize about and to actually see the results of what will happen because it's tough to mobilize enough people in a short period of time just to pump a stock up. But over the long term, if a stock or a company really is doing good things and if they have good catalysts going for them, then you'll most likely see underlying growth in the company and thus the stock price will appreciate. And that's what I'm betting on with Rumble. They've got a bunch of good catalysts, some of which just happened today, okay? Russell Brand just posted this. Now, for those of you who don't know who Russell Brand is, we'll break that down. He's a big guy on YouTube. Now he's getting pretty big on Rumble. And he just posted this. So YouTube took our video down. He tweeted it out on Twitter saying that he's been censored on YouTube. He has made a move to make Rumble his primary video platform. And for those of you who are unaware, he has about 5.98, almost 6 million subscribers on YouTube. And he's really pushing Rumble, okay? If you actually take a look at this video, we'll watch it for a quick second and see what he says. We have been officially censored by YouTube. They took down one of our videos for misinformation. But why are big media organizations not censored for misinformation in the same way? Is it because YouTube are part of the mainstream media now? Earlier this month, we did a video about the changing narratives around COVID, the pandemic and COVID treatments, in which we cited information on official government websites, which we misinterpreted. I'll have to be careful talking about it now, so I don't want to make the same mistake that's had one of our videos pulled down and an official warning issued. The good news is we're moving to Rumble. All of our content is up on Rumble first and we'll be streaming on Rumble every day. We have been persecuted for misinformation and it's right, we have a responsibility to make sure that the information we convey is absolutely 100% as accurate as it possibly could be. In the mistaken video, we said that the NIH were recommending the use of What we should have said is they're trialing That's what we should have said. You pointed that out to us. We made an apology video. We've taken that down as well. YouTube took down our original video. We've taken down the apology video because in case we reiterate the claim while apologizing for it. So both of those videos you can watch right now on Rumble. They're still live on Rumble. That's the reason we're joining them because they're not going to censor our content. And this misinformation strike and takedown demonstrates exactly what it is we're talking about. We made an error, in my opinion, a relatively small error, and we're being penalized. For me, that looks like censorship. And the reason I think it looks like censorship is because there's mainstream media misinformation up all the time. Now we know that the vaccines work well enough that the virus stops with every vaccinated person. A vaccinated person gets exposed to the virus. The virus does not infect them, the virus cannot then use that person to go anywhere else. Now, I think most of us know now that that's not true, but that video is up on YouTube right now. In my opinion, that's misinformation. So we are asking, is there one standard for independent news broadcasters like us on our channel and a different standard for what we would call the mainstream media? Okay, guys, so that's what Russell Brand is talking about. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of creators are actually moving over to Rumble, not necessarily making only their content available on Rumble, but they're actually, at the beginning of this, they're just moving over there, posting their videos there as well. Russell Brand is still posting the YouTube, he said, but he's uh, going to try to be pushing people to Rumble. And you saw it in that video, he was trying to direct people there. He's basically 
trying to get people on Rumble to follow his channel there, where he only has about half a million subscribers, as opposed to YouTube, where he has 6 million. But Rumble is a much faster growing platform percentage-wise than YouTube. We've seen that in the recent data that they've shown us. And you can actually see it on Google Trends as well. You can see that more and more people, this is a chart of the past 90 days. It doesn't actually look too dramatic. But if you look at the numerical values that we're seeing for search trends on Rumble, you can see that about 90 days ago, the search volume was around uh, 50, a ranking of 50, 53, 49, 50, 60. Uh, we were mostly in the low 50s, maybe every now and then we jump up to the mid 60s, okay? That's what we were looking at. And recently, Rumble has been popping off as a lot of new creators have been moving over to them. We're seeing average values around 69, 71, 65. We had a little dip after that, down to 57 as our low. And then we moved up to 78, and recently we've been around rankings of 83, 84. So more and more people are actually searching for Rumble now than were 90 days ago. That's a fact. And more and more people are viewing videos on Rumble their monthly active users have grown monumentally year over year. I expect that trend to continue because there are tons of creators who are massive, who have been either banned on other social media platforms and have moved to Rumble, or who are just like Russell Brand, deciding to do it because they've started to see censorship in some of their videos, on some of their content. Andrew Tate's a good example of someone who's been banned on pretty much every other social media platform, and he was absolutely massive before his bans. He's moved over to Rumble. He's, he's posting his videos on Rumble now because it's one of the few places that will have him. And this is a trend that I expect over the long term will generate massive user growth for Rumble because when you become the only place that's going to host people who have alternative points of view compared to what the mainstream is saying, then it becomes a very desirable place to go to because you want to hear those alternative points of view. Just because someone doesn't want you to hear something doesn't mean that you don't want to hear it. And that could end up leading to big revenues to Rumble in the future. We'll have to see when their financial reports finally come out. When Now that they're a publicly trading company, they will be doing earnings calls and releasing those financial reports. I'm very curious to see those if you guys want to see uh, what those are, well, we'll certainly be covering them on the channel when they do come out. So feel free to subscribe. You can follow us on Rumble itself, right? We have a channel on Rumble where we're actually kind of, you know, increasing our subscriber count fairly significantly, right? Up to three and a half thousand subscribers here on Rumble. So feel free to join us there. Feel free to join us on Locals. It's the top link in the description. This is a platform owned by Rumble. We post up here all the time. And some of the support and some of the posts are supporter only posts. And you guys can actually get free access to those. All you have to do is click the support button, then click plus promo code, type in Rob1, and you guys can apply that code. It'll give you a free month of the support access. You can see what I'm posting there on this site as well. So this is another platform owned by Rumble. Feel free to check it out. If you guys appreciate this video, then feel free to subscribe on Rumble, on Locals, on YouTube, wherever you are, wherever you want to subscribe and support the channel. Feel free to do that. It's so much appreciated, guys. Keep in mind, none of this is financial advice. I just wanted to point out some of the positive catalysts that Rumble has going on for it currently, where I expect Rumble to go in the future. I think it's going up. That's just my opinion, though. That's, uh, you know, it's impossible to know for sure anything could happen in the world. Right now, we're in a recession, so a lot of stocks are moving down. But Rumble seems to be maintaining its price fairly well. So I am bullish on it over the long run. I think it's going to go in very good direction. Now, other than that, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.